Good morning. I'm glad to be with you today. Today's story comes from the book of 1 Corinthians, which was a letter that Paul, a preacher and missionary, wrote to the church in Corinth. In this part of his letter, Paul is reminding the church that following Jesus might not look exactly like we expect it to. In fact, it might look pretty crazy. But maybe that makes sense. After all, we've been remembering during Lent that Jesus wasn't the kind of king people expected. He didn't have a big house or lots of money. He didn't ride a white horse or sit on a throne wearing a crown. Instead, Jesus came close to people. Even the people no one else wanted to come close to. People who were sick or disliked or who were dealing with big problems. And he told stories about God's dream that turned what people thought they knew inside out and upside down. So maybe it's not so surprising that Paul would remind Jesus' followers that following Jesus doesn't usually lead us to big fancy houses or thrones or crowns either. In fact, it will probably bring us close to people, even people that other people don't want to come close to and connect us in ways we never expected. And it will probably turn our lives and our stories inside out and upside down. I wonder what following Jesus looks like for you today. Would you pray with me? God, thank you for inviting us to be a part of your story and to follow you even if it turns our lives inside out and upside down. Help us to be bold and brave as we seek your will. Amen.